Okay, so it is time to play Adventures of Lolo. Now, I actually have played this first one quite a bit. I think I've played like 90% of it, so I don't know. I'll still just play it from the beginning. Because I don't remember the password. Um, if you don't know, this guy is actually one of the mini bosses in some of the Kirby games. The music is super repetitive. Like, I like this game and all, but the music can just go die. Oh yeah, so, I don't know. I'm sure if you had the instruction manual, it would be more easy to figure out, but <laughs> the mechanics in this game are not that intuitive. So basically, you collect all the hearts, um, and then the treasure chest opens. And you can go out the door once you get the little pearl. But the difficulty is, once you get all the hearts, these guys become alive, so they'll kill you. If, you know, you're not careful. So the way to do this is to collect this one, that one. Uh, and The other thing is, I can never remember, like, which things can go through bushes and stuff. And some of the bad guys have weapons that can freeze you still, so you can't move. Like, you can't just dodge. So in that sense, it's much more of a puzzle game than some. Oh yeah, and then you can arbitrarily get power-ups. Or, I don't know, it's like, once you get a certain number of, um... Now that guy just follows you and... Um, once he touches you, he just goes to sleep, so he can be, he can get in the way. But, um, once you get a certain number of hearts, sometimes you get, like, these little power-ups. Like, this time I use that little, uh, shooting ball thing. And, I don't know, I guess I'll just play through the first floor, which is ten levels. Um, might have been, that was definitely the wrong call. Because if I come over here, actually, wait, I can't even get the. Hmm. That's the kill button. Okay, so wait. Uh. Okay, so I know that I'm supposed to, like, lock these guys in here. Like that. Has it gotten on your nerves yet? Um... Wait, what? Maybe I have to, like... Get these... And then... Oh, okay, I didn't notice that I collected those... Those things. That's how you do it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so as soon as I start moving, these guys will start moving. I remember this one. And I think, yeah, they speed up when they see you. Oh no! Okay, we good. Oh wait. Actually, that was already a floor, so I'll keep going. But then again, I do kind of have three of these games to go through, so... Good thing he's stupid. <laughs> um, okay. These guys, I'll just show you what they do. They shoot you, and these guys do freeze you, so you can't escape.
ha ha ha, you got so excited, sucker. This guy can shoot and freeze you too, so the way to do it is you go like this. This game gets a lot harder in the later stages. Because right now I'm just breezing through them even though I don't remember. Later on, not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know if they changed any of the mechanics in the later ones, because I've only played this one, I haven't played two or three. <coughs> Yay. Mm okay. Just that guy that looks like a computer. Still don't have like I'm gonna need to get those little blasty things. How do I get the one in the Oh, this kind you get the little hammer. Okay. But will I collect the little... Because I need to get rid of the snake somehow. Let's see. Okay, good. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So basically, this one become ridiculous as soon as I get all of the hearts because there's this skeleton that will start mo or skull that will start moving. This one. This one and he'll also release a rhino. Um Yeah. idea what I'm doing now. I don't think there's a way I can get that without, like... I think you can continue forever. This game would be so frustrating if you couldn't continue. Okay. myself and get to the passwords, uh, password place. Okay, 